If this video is helpful to you, please consider subscribing to the channel. First of all, I am going to create a new React.js project using npx create react app. And I am going to give the name of the app as Firebase colon auth. So now you can see that the new React.js project has been created. So first of all, from the public folder, I am going to remove this boilerplate course logos. And from source folder, I am going to remove this logo, report, setup test, and app.test files as like this way. So after that, from the index.js, I am going to remove these sections. Next, I am going to take the app component, and from here, I am going to give as app as like this way. Next, I am going to do is to run the project. So now you can see the project here as like this way. So after that, I am going to search for Firebase and I am going to click on this link. After that, I am going to click on the Get Started button. Then next, I am going to do is to click on this Add Project button. Here we have to give the name of the project. So I'm going to give the name of the project as Firebase iPhone Phone, iPhone Auth, and I'm going to click on the Continue button. Next, I'm going to disable this analytics section and to click on Create Project. So now you can see that a new Firebase project has been created. Okay. Then next, I'm going to click on Continue button. Then we will be redirected to the console. In the console, you can see there is three icons. So from that, I am going to click on web icon. Here we have to give the name of the app. So I am going to give the name of the app as phone auth and click on the register app button. Next, we have to install the Firebase. As I am using npm, I am going to copy this command and to run this command in the new terminal. So now you can see that Firebase has been installed. You can see that in the package.json. Next, I am going to do is I am going to take the documentation. So here, next, we have to use this code into our project. So I am going to copy and the, next, I am going to create a new folder called Firebase. And in this folder, I am going to create a new file. So I'm going to give the name of the file as setup, setup.js and I'm going to paste this code as like this way. After that, I'm going to do is to remove these comments for making it more clear. And the next day you can see that here is a Firebase config, which contains the API key or domain project ID, etc. So we don't want to bring any changes. So I'm going to minimize this Firebase config. So here you can see that they have imported initialize app. So the first thing that we have to do is to import a function from Firebase iPhone auth. So the function that we have to import is get auth as like this way. After that, I'm going to do is to define a variable that is auth and I'm going to assign the get auth as like this way. So here we have to pass the app as the argument. Next, I am going to export this auth for using it in other files. So here, setup.js has been completed. Next, I am going to do is to click on this continue to console button. So here is the console. In the sidebar, you can see there is a build button. So when we click the build button, you can see a drop down. There is authentication. So after clicking authentication, I am going to click on get started button. Then next, you can see that these are the providers, the custom, additional, and a native provider. So I'm going to click on phone. Here I'm going to enable by clicking the save button. So now you can see that the phone authentication has been enabled. Next I'm going to do is in the app component, I'm going to use an input field. And here I'm going to give the placeholder that is phone number. So now you can see that here is the input field.
next i am going to do is to define a function called send.tp which is an arrow function and i am going to define a variable that is recapture and i am going to use a function called recapture verifier from the firebase so i am going to import that recapture verifier from the firebase slash auth next i am going to use or call that recapture verifier function here then here we have to pass three arguments so first i have passed the auth as the argument second i am passing a string the recapture so we have to give this as the id of a div for showing the captcha so i am going to give a div below this input field and here i am going to give as id so in the id i am going to do is to copy and paste this recapture as like this way next i am going to do is i have given an empty object as the third argument next i am going to define confirmation a variable then i am going to assign this function sign in with the phone number and here as a first argument i have given auth and next i am going to define a state that is phone and i am going to pass an empty string after that i am going to do is in the on change of this input field i am going to give as set to phone and here i am going to give e dot target dot value by taking the event next i am going to do is i am going to pass this phone as the second argument to the sign in with the phone number function and as a third argument i am going to pass this recapture that we have defined okay next i am going to give console dot log the confirmation after that i am going to give the async await and try catch and inside this catch i am going to give as console dot error and i am going to pass the error as like this way next i am going to pass this execution into this try after that i am going to do is i am going to use a button here so here i am going to give the name of the button as send otp and in the on click of this button i am going to call this send otp function so here you can see the input field and the send otp button so next i am going to do is to take the console then after that i am going to give the phone number by giving the country code also as like this way then next i am going to click on send otp button so here you can see the captcha so i am going to click on this empty space at that time in the console you can see the confirmation okay fine so next what i am going to do is i am going to define a new function that is verify otp which is also an arrow function and i am going to do is to define a state and to pass this confirmation to that state so i'm going to define a state named the user and here i'm going to pass null as the initial state next i'm going to do is to give this set to user instead of this console.log and this confirmation contains a function that is confirm so what i'm going to do is to call this function confirm here so we need to pass the otp that we are typing to this confirm as an argument so i'm going to define the state otp i'm going to give the empty string the next we have to use an input field for giving the otp so in the input field i'm going to first give placeholder that is otp and in the on change of this input field i am going to give as set otp e dot target dot value by taking the event next i am going to do is i am going to copy and paste this otp in this confirm as the argument after that i am going to give as async await 
try then catch then inside this catch i am going to give as console dot error i am going to pass this error as like this way so i am going to give this user dot confirm to this try as like this okay fine next i am going to do is to call this verify otp function in the button so i am going to create a button and i am going to give the name of the button as verify otp and in the on click of this button i am going to call this function as like this way next i am going to do is i am going to define a variable data and i am going to assign that user dot confirm then i am going to log this in the console so now i am going to give the phone number again and next i am going to click on send otp button at that time you can see that here is the captcha so i am going to click on this space empty space so here now an otp will be sent to our phone number so i am going to give that otp here in this input field and i am going to click on verify otp at that time you can see that this is the data in the console so when i click there you can see there is a user which contains the phone number from that we can understand the user is logged in if this video is helpful to you please consider subscribing to the channel